Okay, so at about just before 6.30 uh, yesterday evening, uh, police have carried out a search warrant uh, investigating the supply of methamphetamine uh, and firearms uh, at the address just down here. Um, and uh, during that uh, search warrant, uh, they've uh, announced their entry, they've gone and what we call an announced entry. So they've called out that they were the police, they've gone in, uh, that's members of the armed defender squad. Uh, they've encountered a man inside who has obtained a long barreled uh, weapon. Um, and uh, despite their calling uh, uh, for him to desist, uh, he has continued to present a threat to them and they've ended up having to fire on him. How many times has the man shot at? Um, there's been a number of shots fired. Uh, it's most likely that, uh, on the information we have at the moment, uh, that more than one member of the undefender squad fired. Um, how many people were inside the property with this other man who was really strongly killed? So we're aware of one other occupant that was in the address in a different part uh, of the building, um, and that person has been spoken to and will continue to speak to them going forward. And what sort of drug operation are you talking about? So the investigation was into the supply of methamphetamine uh, and firearms. Uh, we also believe that the address had some connections to gangs. It's been an ongoing inquiry. It's a very serious inquiry. Um, hence uh, the use of the armed defender squad. How many bullet wounds did they have inside? Um, at, at this stage, um, there's still a post-mortem to be undertaken, um, but uh, multiple shots were fired. Uh, the national... Um, I'm not aware, I don't have any information at this stage uh, that he fired that. The National Authority has been notified about this. Do you think that they'll investigate? Yep, so it's normal in these situations that the Independent Police Conduct Authority would be uh, notified um, and we're assisting them uh, with their inquiry. Um, uh, yes, uh, this is an ongoing inquiry. Um, so, um, we're still to formally identify uh, the victim, um, but uh, if he is the person we believe him to be, uh, he is known to us. When is the post-mortem? Uh, that will be held today, so we should have results uh, by the end of today. Did the man actually pick up and point the weapon at the police? How far did he get? That's the information that we have. That, that it's, You're talking about an event that's happening very, very quickly in a very confined area. So despite the use of a loud hailer to announce that the police were here, and police constantly calling that it was armed police, and they, they were entering the premise, uh, this person has obtained a long barreled uh, firearm, uh, and despite being called upon, has continued to present it, uh, and as a result has been shot. When you say present, do you mean point Yeah, so that's just the information that I have from the briefing. I uh, understand that it's uh, very early uh, at this stage. Was there any uh, drugs or other firearms located in the premises? So we will be investigating the circumstances of the shooting. We would always do that uh, in a case uh, like this. And part of that investigation will also carry on the initial investigation for why we came here, which was into the supply of methamphetamine uh, and firearms. So Police were seen leaving with gas. Uh, breathing apparatuses and stuff on last night. Um, was there drugs present at the scene for them to be worried enough to wear those? So this uh, operation uh, has been a long time uh, in the planning. There's been a lot of intelligence and information. A lot of forethought was given to the tactics to be used and that's included the need not only to deal with any possible threat from a firearm uh, but also from uh, any chemical threats. What was the dwelling used for? Um, is it, was it a home or a business or both? Yeah, I can only describe it as that it's a, like a light commercial uh, type premises. Um, I understand that it's got a lot of uh, equipment in there um, and that this is an area that is used uh, for light industry uh, and there are some residential addresses here. Has anyone else been arrested in relation to this drug bust? Uh, no. Okay, and how large is this operation? Uh, so this has been a fairly significant operation involving uh, both the armed defender squad uh, and the criminal investigation run. And in terms of the amount of drugs that they supply to the community, is it quite you know, a, a large drug room? So actually what uh, is at this address, right, um, that will all become uh, revealed 
as part of the investigation. So I can't give you any information as to what's here at the moment. This is the second um, incident in two months involving a person who's died um, and has a police shooting. Um, how do you get from that? Look, um, police deal with uh, thousands of critical events uh, every year. Um, we uh, do a million stops on the roadside uh, and normally most of those are resolved peacefully. Uh, it is always unfortunate when we have to use a deadly force uh, that has been used in this case and now we need to find out what's happened. Um, what, what will police be doing today behind us after, after this um, conference? So the investigation into the shooting uh, has commenced, that commenced last night and that will continue as well as into uh, the other inquiries required around the supply of methamphetamine uh, and firearms. Um, and so today uh, you'll have police officers working here uh, doing that inquiry. Just two more questions please. Can you confirm how many officers were inside the building? Um, I can't give you an absolute number of how many would have been uh, inside at the time that occurred. And yes. last question, do you, do you back um, what happened last night? Do you back the police and the armed defender squad? Look, absolutely. This is, um, it's been very clear on the early information that I've had uh, that there has been um, a lot of information and intelligence gathered for this, inter uh, for this investigation. A lot of consideration has been given to the tactics to be used. Uh, when the threat has presented, staff has responded uh, as we understand their training uh, to be. And you would have, are you happy with how it played out last night? On the information I have, uh, this appears like uh, it was uh, unavoidable um, and look that's uh, always a tragedy and it's important uh, that now what we do is establish exactly what happened so I can only really give you information on what I've been told initially and um, what's now important uh, is that we find out exactly what happened and uh, that absence of information uh, is obviously very difficult for the family uh, and it's very difficult for the officers that have been involved uh, in the shooting. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.